big crowds are storming back to athletics. In fact, at the Crystal Palace, they are overflowing. The men's 400 meters hurdles. Watch the tremendous stride of number four, Alan Pasco. And it's victory for Pasco. There's a strong field in the women's 1,000 metres, including Leslie Kiernan of Great Britain, Frances Larrieux of the United States, and Rose Tata and Sabina Cebici from Kenya. But it's Leslie Kiernan who takes it up. Kiernan, Joyce Smith, Rose Tata of Kenya, the rest of the field threatening close behind. But there's nobody to head the lovely Leslie Kiernan. She's the winner from start to finish. Rosemary Sterling second, Joan Allison third. That makes it one, two, and three for Great Britain. on their marks for the men's 400 metres. Round the corner, David Jenkins, Great Britain, leads Karl Hans of West Germany. And Jenkins makes no mistake. Hans second, Friedenbach of Belgium third. The standard's truly international, and the huge crowd's really getting its money's worth. All the world loves a winner. Next, the women's 100 metres hurdles. And it's a sizzler. Number one, Judy Vernon, and number six, Lorna Drysdale, both of Great Britain. The cameras is a dead heat, so it's a win for them both. But this is what they've all come to see, the men's two-miler. That great middle-distance runner, Brendan Foster, runs for Britain, so does David Bedford. But Bedford starts at the back of the field and stays there. Australian Graham Crouch has set a fast early lap. Brendan Foster, determined to dictate the pattern of the race, takes the lead. Then using the same tactics he used in the European Championships in Rome, he cuts away from the rest of the field. These tactics have paid dividends before, and again they bring him a dramatic victory. Now it's just a question of who comes second and third. Surely one of the world's great athletes, Brendan Foster, has done it again. Now it's the turn of the Russians to get in on the act of clearing mines from the 